as you know, I recently went to visit my dad and we bought a disgusting, cheap, bagless, disposable vacuum cleaner in the form of the Bissell Liftoff. Well, I also bought a premium, expensive, luxurious vacuum cleaner. The bag of tools somewhere. I'll find that when we cut for the intro. I found this Vorwerk VK150 for sale in Peter Bar. It's already got bird poo on it. For £50. The owner took 40 It's really cool indeed. This is my third full complete, we'll see the tools in a bit, Vorwerk home cleaning system. So let's have a look at what the newest, shiniest Vorwerk I've ever owned is like. Uh, what's wrong with it and um, the problem that it currently has. Let's have a look. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner and Vorwerk or Cobold, because it's both at this point, chums. How are you today? Yes, I've, I've actually ogled these in brochures reasonably recently because all the brochures and paperwork that came with the Vorwerk VR300 features this in it because it's obviously the same generation. So to me these are still brand spanking new even though phew, they're quite old now. I think if I'm dating these correctly this one is from 2014. Look we have a very good condition ratings play there and I bought this from the original owner, which is fantastic. He did love it, to be fair. He was very sad to see it go, I think, but they got a dog. He just wasn't getting on with it. And he upgraded it. Apparently, it's been to Germany. I'll try and put an edited version of the message somewhere, bless him. It's been to Germany for a full refurb. So, yes, it has been really taken care of. Let's pull the wire down, and then we can pop the lower cord hook back into place. You don't seem to be able to take the handle off on this model. On the older ones, you can take the whole thing completely off. Even though there are, in fact, let's also just take this off so I don't snap the neck or something <laughs> annoying like that. Yeah, there is also power and stuff down here too, which is for when it's hooked up on the shoulder strap, you can adjust and turn things off. But we'll leave it on max for now. In fact, does it actually? Oh, look, it, it does move. Hadn't fully realised that. So there we go. We have, we do have duplicate control. But what you do do is this, and the handle locks in as well. And I guess this is also how you use it for doing the mattresses and all that malarkey. Nice long original cable on the machine. And yeah, the thing's really quite clean on the outside. Let's have a close look inside at the problem. Now I say the problem is not really a catastrophic issue at all, but it would be if it wasn't for the fact that it sat right here on this specific SIVO rug. Because inside of this back door is an bag. And as you can see, the whole thing is just disgusting. And yeah, this poor Vorwerk only came to me with pattern bags. I think it's only had pattern bags used for quite some, there we go, I thought that came off, for quite some time and as you can see the whole thing is full of rubbish and this is my rubbish because I, I have cleaned this quickly before and did change the filter which only after a couple of uses has gone back like that so it's rather annoying although actually now I've just you know, looked properly closely for the first time there is that and this one does have the hallmarks of stuff not sealing. So I think we're going to cheat a little bit with the MBV 190.
hoping that that might actually go some way to fixing the pottery. Obviously, it's still going to come apart for a full refurb. But, I mean, yeah, I don't want it to completely destroy itself before we get a chance to play with it. Yeah, I think this thing has been used like that for quite some time. I wonder if I can fit the bag first. Because, yeah, what's happened is that seal's just done absolutely nothing. It's picked up quite a lot because I've been using it and it's a very good vacuum cleaner. Although the manual dust state has only got 33% efficiency, so maybe it's not that great. And yeah, so we'll make sure it's clipped in properly to there. And I think we can just clip this back into place. And we're going to try that. We'll give it a go in a minute. And we'll check if that works. Although well, do not panic. The ever-lovely Mr. James has already told me he will send me a couple of genuine bags, which is good. Although, yeah, I won't fit them until I've sorted out stuff like that. But, despite all that, and I mean again, it's now got a nice clean filter and whatnot in it, it runs really well. I'm going to, start, I'm going to go straight to one rather than auto for now. Not bad. Number two. Coming up to three. And an auto. Won't do an awful lot without the head. So yeah, the whole thing runs absolutely beautiful. And I, I guess costs have all worked. So that's, that's part one done. Let's move on to part two, which is by far the newest head I have ever used, the EB370 which also I think hails because the first two digits are definitely the year I'd imagine the next two of the month 2014 and I'm sure I'll find date codes in there as well and yeah this is pretty good as well that's a bit faded that's about the only faded part of the machine so I guess that's a completely different plastic it's got a button there which changes it to soft we can push this down I haven't done this yet and we'll take out the brushes because, yeah, there, there's a little bit of hair on there. Plenty of life, but ah, it is perhaps a little bit soft. I think I would like to, I would like to replace them at some point. But there's, there's plenty of use left on there. And then inside of here is where you can clean out all the hair and the fluff and everything. And once it's all had a good strip and a good wash, it's going to be okay. Oh, are these handed? Like the other one. Yes, well they are, but how could you tell? Oh. On the older ones there was a colour and I didn't pay any attention. They're just gonna put them back in no, like that. No. Okay, they are handy, but they only fit in one way. Fair enough. Lovely. And underneath we have a blockage removal port where we can confirm that everything is very nice indeed. I've had the older versions of these on the ones that I have be completely plugged up in there. So that's the EB370. We then have a very well used HD50. This is the lovely, spinny, knocky about, hard floor head. In fact, we can take, ah, I can't use that thumb still very much. We can pop the brushes off. Yeah, there is, it's quite a basic little thing really. But yeah, on hard floors, and this has seen a lot of use, as you can see, we've got a lot of cleaning to do on the old girl. Oh, it's not that old, is it? 2014. That works very well indeed. And I mean, oh, he says it works very well, assuming he can clip it in properly. Again, no, it's all full of dust. You're gonna. Do we even need to care? We don't, because we're not gonna go for the hard floor straight away. Let's go for the carpet. Um, we're going to leave on that nice angle because you can see the rug and it's just made filthy really well. We're just going to go on to automatic and let this probably near £2,000 vacuum cleaner go to work. It's so nice to use. It's very quiet. I mean, it's probably on setting two at the minute. On his auto mode. 
than my VK136, not necessarily much better to use, but yeah, they are big improvements all around. I've been happily using this on and off for a couple of days with no problems at all. But as you know, with a Vorwerk, that's only half of the battle, because this also came with a very significant amount of tools. In fact, one might also almost say all of the tools that one of these should come with. It's just fantastic. Now, immediately we can see the heinous, horrible stash of non-genuine bags, although I'm going to use that a little bit more in a minute, and then we can give it another go. There's a lot of minutes over here, so we'll get that. I mean, I've got them. I'm not going to throw them away just yet. Equally, I won't throw them away at all, because they might be useful for something else if I cut them off. Or that, yeah, Hoover Dust Step bag, maybe. We needed one of those the other day, although actually no, that'd be terrible because that, that would just block all the airflow from the little motor. So that's a bit of a pain. Then we come to this stupid bag here. As you can see, the hose isn't really clipped on. And because it doesn't fit, you get this helpful illustration on there. And it effectively says, those go up there like that. But then you've got an awful lot of hose hanging down at the bottom. So I've, I've just been doing that with it really. In fact, why don't we start with the hose? Because, again, we can release the vacuum. Pop. Oh, it's all a bit stiff. We can push the handle down, not that you can see it. And then, I'm not going to put the shoulder strap on, we don't need to go that far. All we need is the hose like so. That's very powerful. Oh, oh I know feeling, yeah. It has a very noisy bleed valve, but even on minimum, that's pretty dang cool. Then, I mean, if you've watched any of my other Volvoq videos, this is all going to suddenly start to become quite familiar. We have the telescopic wand here with the adjusting pivoting angle. And very, it's, all, it's all just white, so there'll be a theme here. Um, what do we those first? We have the bendable, and this is very nice crevice tool with a little brush. And oh, yes, it extends. And look, it's been used before. I've used this on other raw works. So the problem is, we go to setting. Set. It just blocks all the airflow. Look at the hose. It's a tool for setting one. Oh, I just didn't use it, I found, especially on the VK136, which was renowned for blowing up its motor. This may not be so bad. I don't know what motor's in it yet. So, yeah, we have that and that. We have the Polster Boy or the PB430 to give it its full title, which is mainly why we got all this hose out. And yeah, again, we've gone to setting one. And it is full work turbo brush. You just. Oh, Oh, okay. Go off it. Over there. Or, we get the suction coming out at the end. And again, on setting three. Yeah, we do setting two. Oh. Oh, 
And as you can see, as soon as you go to the front, when it is in full power, the whole machine clogs up. I think you can even take it apart, because there'll be a way to do the other thing. It just unclips, and yeah, exactly the same as the old designs. There's the power unit. They're not very powerful either. Uh, there is a wattage, but I cannot read it. 50 watts. And then here is your brush roll assembly, which again, does all come apart. I won't do it now. Have a look at, I think I might just write it up actually, in my other four work threads. But yeah, there is your four work turbo nozzle. It's, it's, it's weird, it feels really clunky to start with, but I've used my older one of these, and it's actually quite nice. What else do we have? Oh, this is... It's a nice tool in theory, but again, having tried to use it for actual dusting, yeah, because it does that. In fact, that's its shortest setting. That's quite nice, actually. I use it on that and that and that. Probably as soon as you go out to here, I don't have anything fancy enough for this to be any good at all. And as soon as you use it on something flat, it just goes, <laughs> um, defeats the entire point. I mean, the only thing I can think to use it for now is this is the filter ironically enough, from the Hitachi CV2000. After 12 vacuums in 12 months, it's being refurbished at the minute. We'll see the after video soon. I don't really think we need to wash it. But let's clean this up, because the bristles will go right down. In fact, if we, oh, there we go, let's get it to just the right length. Whack this on number three. Yeah, it's not really doing a lot, but it's getting the dust out, but... Yeah, I think I've, I'll still run that over the airline. But yeah, you know, that, it's a nice idea in concept. I'm just not sure I have quite the house for it. Then, well, let me go on to two of the tools that I've not seen before. There is this, actually no, they're the same tool, aren't they? There is this part here, which is just a simple little floor head. You know, not the fancy one like this, just the basic one. That goes with this, which is technically a crevice tool. I mean, go through much crevices with that. But if you pull the lever back, it flips open into a flying fanny, electro like style dusting brush. And with this, you clip it into here. And it turns into a hard floor brush, which is pretty cool, I guess. You can't use it on the machine because the angle is completely wrong. But yeah, you can go from doing your upholstery to your kitchen floor. I mean, it's pretty cool. We're not going to really use it now, although we will give this a crack because I've not actually used it yet. Number two, I think. Oh, that's quite nice. Lots of air bleed holes. Oh, yeah. So many air bead holes, that's almost pointless. But that's quite nice. I can see the read again, actually. If you had a loose chair cushion and we stuck it on setting three. Oh, no, it does. Oh, there you go. Setting one's lovely. <laughs> Yeah, it obviously gets a bit overpowered from that. Um, that's actually it for the tools. The next thing we have are these, which are the dry Cobra sand brushes for the rug. They did come, oh, I should have got this out earlier, in their box, but the box is all written over and they do fit in those holes. I, I studied the picture very carefully. So I'm going to throw that box away and just keep these in here. And again, these come out and you can clean them. You'll need a screwdriver to just oh, there you go, pull from the back. Yeah, they all need a good clean, but I might use them first. Give this pink rug a good go. I don't know if we might have time to... Actually, yes, we might do that in this video, because I can apply it tonight and then vacuum it off in the morning, which would work well. So, yeah, we have those two. Let's put those back in there. Then we have these, which go into this head as well everything fits into here and what goes with these i got six packs of Lavinia the mattress cleaning powder that Vorwerk give out it's not Cobra San although crikey it's 
I might use it instead of Cobra Sound. It's probably going to work well enough. Or again, I need to go, for, oh yeah, I need to, because all my Cobra Sound is in storage. So we might play with that next. And yeah, that is everything that I got for my money. What I do want to do now quickly while it's all out, because I'm not going to be refurbishing this straight away, but this bag is full of dog hair, and I'd like to get rid of it. So we'll go on to number one. No. Number two. No. Number one. Oh, that's stiff. No. Too stiff. Too soft even. That's it. It's nice when it's in these sort of modes. put those here we got I mean there were two new filters there's now one there's nothing wrong with the filters I don't think they're safe enough and then I got two packs of hooky Lavinia chips which again there's one of those in the machine now and it doesn't really smell that strong but you know I'm happy enough with it anyway so there is my Vorwerk I just need to put everything back in now paying close attention to what it says on the thing, otherwise it will never go back properly. And then you will have trouble. Because this is, I mean, it's a better system than Kirby, I think. You can fit a lot in these bags. I know that, I even push that. I know how much I've got stuffed into the bag on my 136 and 121. So that's reasonable, right? That's everything that I care about for now. And we need the hose in there, like so. And Take these out and then you flop it all over and we fit. May just about be able. I promise all the tools for me. Come on, these are nice quality bags, these are. You'd almost, I'd almost recommend some for just storing normal tools. But look how much we've got in there, and that is absolutely fine. Yeah, you should, you should see my other one. So, I think we'll use Lavinia because hey, it'll freshen up and do something. Let's vacuum this pink rug. Jam the brush roll. Hopefully that. to use. What I think we should do though before we go down the route of potentially destroying this is check the bag. Ooh. She's clean boys and girls. Well mostly clean. I don't know the filter is spotless. I think that little bit of stuff stuck in the bag housing was our problem. I feel fairly confident now ah, to put the filter back in Put the bag back on, we'll just turn it on just to put everything together and then I think we can move on. We should recline the machine, open up this part here and remove the carpet vacuuming brushes as they are. And you know what, I've never fitted a set of these to one of these before. Click, yep, down and now there will be no suction coming from this head. We can put it in setting one. 
and all that will happen is rushing very, very aggressive brushing. Right, now as you just... Ooh. There we go. You've got to click... This is the same problem that my 136 has. If you don't click it like... If you can click it in like that, and that's never going to happen. Oof. You have to get the neck straight and then push forwards. Right, let's sprinkle some powder down. Blimey, that's an entire packet that I just emptied all over my floor. I hope it doesn't say do not use on carpet. I can't see why it wouldn't. It feels roughly the same. It's just damp encapsulating powder. It does smell nice though, so worst case, I'll just have a nice smelly front room. Right, on to setting one and work this in. Oh. Again, if nothing else, it's going to revive this pile. That was fun, wasn't it? A short while later, and you know what? The pile is refreshed. It smells a bit like damp dog, I can't lie, but equally, that could just be the rug. We haven't shampooed it yet. I do have plans in place for that, along with the hooligan, but oh my goodness, yeah, this is, this is the flip side of using your shiny thousand pounds worth of raw work to do this sort of thing. Yeah, you've got to... You've got to clean up afterwards, so, I mean, all is washing anyway, so I don't particularly care at the minute. We'll pop these back in. This is going to be a really good test of the, oh, wrong way round. Yeah, so the green does go this side, and the black does go this side. And I guess once you know that, and you're not a complete idiot like me, but the older ones used to have a colour code on them. Hey-ho. What you might have also noticed as I was applying it, is I was pushing down on the head. While that's probably not great for the longevity of the head, it does dig in a bit deeper. Again, some of the older heads being just naturally heavier do do quite well. But how is this going to pick all this up on auto? Ooh, wow. That's pretty cool, isn't it? with one final blast on full power 
that's pretty good. I mean, that has softened up the pile nicely. Currently using the Hoover Enigma this month, and it's, it's far too late to turn that on now, I'm afraid, at the time of filming this. But I'm looking forward to trying that tomorrow when that has dried out. Um, big question, I suppose, is <gasps> spotless. Yeah, I mean, I think it's spotless. It's quite hard to tell because so much dirt's coming from the bag housing itself, but it's not that thick on the filter. So I would call that pretty good. So yeah, I'm quite happy with my £40 purchase, I'll be honest. I mean, I've now got three, one day we'll have to get them all out, three complete raw works. The 120, the 135-6 slash we'll call it, because it's a massive bit, sir. This... I mean, then we've got the VR100, the VR200, the VR300 robot vacuums. And then we've got the two VK136s and the cool head from Barton's still to look at. So that's very nice. And that would almost be it if it wasn't for the fact that I was getting this all out of the car. And I didn't see this pocket at all when I picked it up. I didn't really look. Didn't look at it in the car. I'd opened it, gone, oh, that's nice. Did you would have seen in the photos. What's in here is, oh, actually two things. Look, it, it, it came with the strap. That's in there. Look, the original owner's manual is with this machine. I mean, it's in, I think it's Croatian. Google calls it Croatian. So, a little bit if you're obviously there is a UK version online. But look, there's a date of the 22nd of April 2014. And it's now... September 2023 so nearly 10 years this thing has gone from probably nearly 1800 pounds for this setup maybe I don't know comment down below so I don't actually know what did these things sell for back in 2014 to 40 pounds and yeah the whole it's a one language only manual so yeah we have a bit of that I've just read the UK version that's available online but oof, blimey it is a complete, complete set. And I have the matching robot for this. We'll have to get those together as well because, yeah, oh, this is all very exciting and far, far too overkill. Blimey, I need to stop buying Vorworks or Senna Kirby or something to justify the space that all of this is taking. But £40, I couldn't say no. What do you think? Should I have said no or did I do all right? I mean... I know I did alright regardless really and yeah we'll get this thing cleaned up because yeah it is quite yeah I haven't, we haven't done a close up look it is it is quite used I mean it's not destroyed assuming it all polishes up okay I mean I'm not going to go crazy bad on it but we'll perk it up and make it really good again I and mean, it's probably going to be unusable on setting three once we do that so That'll be cool to find out. So yeah, do you have a Vorwerk VK150 or any other Vorwerk? And what do you think of them? I mean, just like this, they're beautiful. As I've said before, VK120, if you can pick one up cheap, is a really good, quick and easy vacuum. But you can pick one of those up for 20 quid. It's quite rare that these are that cheap. I know I probably stole it from the guy. Uh, yeah, well, here we are. But yeah, they're not quite there yet. But the 136 is, and it's not that dissimilar. But who knows where the adventures with this shall lead. So until the next time I make a stupid purchase, or we fix a stupid purchase, and I'll show you it afterwards, I, and this stupid purchase, will see you soon. Bye-bye.